Hey baby, why don't you let me stick just the tip in? What's up everybody? Coming at you with a new segment I like to call Just the Tips. I'm going to be making a bunch of these videos to hopefully um, help out the autograph community, give you some of my past experiences, and some tips that you guys can use for your future experiences. Today I want to talk about in-person autographing. Um, mostly when you go somewhere it's not an actual signing but you're trying to get an autograph like at a baseball stadium or a hotel something along those lines some of the uh, tips I want to give you is well the first one is do your research if you go into a baseball stadium that you've never been before or a football stadium go on YouTube Google that stadium Google and see if you can find some videos of where players are signing um, this will give you an idea of where some players sign if you know some players only sign on certain spots of the stadium or there might be some places along the stadium that are really good for autographs so this will give you an idea before you even go where you should stand um, and what you can expect I know that before every uh, series for the race that I go to I, I usually just type in the team that's going to be there and see if any of the players have ever signed at that stadium. Um, another good thing is forums. Um, there'll be a lot of forums of uh, people discussing, uh, you know, they got this particular player at this stadium. So you can do a Google search on that and see if you get any hits. Um, this is really good information and should help you be prepared before you even visit the stadium. Another tip is to know the player's signing habit. Um, for example, you have to know what the player signs and what he doesn't sign. Um, Albert Pujols is a good example. You're never going to get a bat or a jersey signed by him in person other than paying for it. Um, he just There's some particular items that he won't sign. Um, a lot of players are like this. Um, most of them are superstars. You know, Some of the average to below average guys, you can get them on anything. But you don't want to go to a baseball game and and have an Albert Pujols jersey and that's all you have because you're not going to get that signed by him. Another thing is um, do the players switch pens? Um, there's a lot of players that once they start signing they'll keep whatever pens in their hand and they won't switch the entire time. So if you have a, an 8x10 and the player grabs a pen first you're basically screwed. Um, you're not going to get that pen out of the hand depending on the player. Um, so Oh, what I always do is bring two items, two different types that, um, so maybe like a photo and a baseball, where the baseball you can use a ballpoint pen and the photo you can use a sharpie, so if the player doesn't switch pens, you can just give them the other item that you have. Um, the worst thing is to get a freaking ball sign in sharpie, it's, it's pretty ridiculous and I hate when that happens, so I always, I'm always prepared with multiple items and I just let the player decide what he's going to sign. Another thing is um, know how many items that particular player signs. Sometimes they'll sign multiple items. Um, <clears throat> usually the superstars only sign one item, but you never know. There, there are players that are really nice and will sign multiple items. So be prepared. Bring multiple items if that person signs multiple items or if you even have multiple items. Another thing that I found that I've always found that was helpful is to be creative to get that player's attention. Um, anybody can bring a baseball to the stadium or a baseball card. That's not really going to get the attention of the player. But if you have something like a 11 by 14 or 16 by 20 photo and it's a really nice photo, that can easily get the players their attention. In fact, a jersey is really nice to get the player's attention. I found that a lot of times player wasn't even going to come over if they didn't see my jersey, but I got their attention, they saw the jersey, um, they knew I was a big fan because I had their jersey, and they came over and basically just signed for me, or they signed for a bunch of people there. And lastly, um, this should go without saying, but be polite, be, cur be courteous to everybody around you, um, especially the player signing, say thank you and please. Uh, the worst thing is to have somebody there that's rude and scares the player away after he only signs a couple. Um, I can't tell you how many times that I've been at an autograph event where people are pushing and the player was going to sign all day but people start pushing and 
it got rowdy so the player had to stop signing or somebody in the crowd yells out stop pushing it's, and then the player hears that and he, he decides to stop signing one of the most annoying things when somebody comes over and you're that close to getting them to sign but people around you ruin it for you and you don't get them so these are just the tips I have for you. You can follow them or you don't have to follow them. That's up to you. But hopefully you will follow them and you'll reap the benefits of it. Alright guys, peace out.